where us consider the sequences below for each find a recursive definition are the sequences related. So analyzing the first sequence in A, if we take a look at the latter terms or the terms on the right, the first thing I recognized was that two plus four is six, four plus six is 10, six plus 10 is 16 and so on. So while that is a pattern, we do want to find a recurrence relation that relates one term to previous terms, not future terms. So again, looking at the right, if two plus four is equal to six, we can also say that two is equal to six minus four. And four is equal to 10 minus six. Six is equal to 16 minus 10 and so on. And therefore we can say the recurrence relation is a sub n is equal to a sub n minus two minus a sub n minus one. So this is the recurrence relation, but we also need to give the initial conditions in order to have a recursive definition. So with this recurrence relation, the initial condition must state that a sub zero is equal to 42 and that a sub one is equal to 26. Before we go to part B, let's check to make sure this works. Let's say we're looking for a sub three. A sub three is equal to a sub one minus a sub two. Well, remember the first term is a sub zero, so a sub one is 26, a sub two is 16, 26 minus 16 is 10, and notice a sub three is 10. And now looking at B, again focusing on the terms on the right, again notice how we have the same pattern. One plus two is three, two plus three is five, three plus five is eight, and so on. Therefore, we can also say that one is equal to three minus two, two is equal to five minus three, three is equal to eight minus five, and so on. So the recurrence relation is the same. We have a sub n equals a sub n minus two minus a sub n minus one, but the initial conditions are going to be different because we have a different sequence. This is with a sub zero equals 65, and a sub one is equal to 44. And now for part C, we kind of have a strange sequence here. Notice how we have a sequence of zeros, but if we wanted to, we could give the same recurrence relation since zero minus zero is zero. So we'll go ahead and give the same recurrence relation, which is a sub n equals a sub n minus two minus a sub n minus one, but now the initial conditions are a sub zero equals zero, and a sub one equals zero. Of course, we could also give a lot of different recursive definitions for a sequence of zeros, but in this case, notice how we can define the recurrence relation as the same for all three. So they are somewhat related because all three sequences do have the same recurrence relation, but they're also different because the initial conditions are different. I hope you found this helpful.